Hey guys, how are we today? How are we this morning? I hope you're all doing well. Um, I had to chime in on the incident of um, <laughs> of Crab Circle because I have known that location at Hero Circle for all my life, right? And it kind of bleeds my soul to know that this has happened. One, um, persons now being out of an income going into the Christmas season. And two, the fact that on sanitary conditions, food is still being produced in unsanitary conditions. Um, I'm a girl, I love street food. And for a person who cooks, and for a person who knows what dangers and what craziness can happen in the food industry, I still love my street food, especially my Jamaican street food. Jamaican food is a whole different level. And then you have the other level, when you take it from the street and the roadside, <laughs> I was going to say it's sweeter, but now I'm concerned because <laughs> I have been a customer for that location and now I'm just so distraught. But on a serious note, guys, food consumption is very, very, very extremely important in a sanitary area. You have to have running water. You have to have hand washing facilities. It is the utmost importance. Food poisoning is nothing to play with, okay? Because sometimes you have persons who will eat something and then they will have loose bowels, they will have cramping in the stomach, they'll have nausea, they have vomiting, and it is quick to blame the food. But when you have these kind of conditions going around, yes, the food will be blamed, even though it could be something else. But the last thing that you ate was from location A, and you had it at X time and for those who know food know that the bacteria can stay for a certain time and then it develops and it multiplies and the right conditions and it goes on and on and on food is no joke and not only that you have to have the appropriate clothes headgear apron everything that is needed you have to have proper coverage from pests, flies, rats, all these things. And we know that location is a fully open location. But what was disturbing most of all in the video is that I saw two videos, well, two clips. So one video was showing the person wiping their, their rear end and the other one was she was explaining what happened and all of that and my thing is this no matter what no matter the circumstances it's not gonna matter it's not going to be considered in a situation like this because it's food and people don't seem to realize that no matter how sick you may be feeling, how sick you may get, no one's gonna care. Everyone who has purchased food from that location is now having gag, <laughs> gag motions, mental trauma, everything right then they start thinking back you know say that's why i'm gonna stop eat there because the one time i did eat there me get sick and everybody going to have a story now so 
it's just unfortunate and fortunate that we have been able to see what's going on and trust me crab circle is not the only location that is having this problem persons don't have their food handlers permit that's a different topic because sometimes knowledge of something doesn't mean you're practicing it and many times persons will have their food handlers permit and don't practice what is required of them in having a food handlers permit washing your hands frequently not showing up at work if you have um, flu-like symptoms coughing cold all of those things people still go to work because if they don't go to work then they lose a day pay and they know that they have the flu and then they have supervisors and managers who are on location who know that the person is sick but because they don't want to be short-staffed for two days three days because it's more pressure on them they may have may, they may have to be the one to do the work they keep them at work not considering that the public has to consume the end product of these establishments so with that in mind I want to say this measures have to be put in place things have to be done and too many times we do knee-jerk reaction in this country it cannot be a situation where we are constantly fixing it's time for prevention Jamaica time for prevention and it's a time of social media anything that you think to do always remember that it can be caught on tape it can be videoed whoever video it that's not the concern that should not be the issue the issue is it was done unfortunately it was a situation where the person was not well based on the clip that I saw but it happened find somewhere much further to go then but that's right there right in the area no so that's my tip on it so stay safe out there guys we have to stay safe from so many things these days huh don't tell the little fool where I eat <laughs> anyway until next time guys bye